Good morning, brothers and sisters. Our call to worship verse for today is found in Psalm 105, verses 4 to 8. Verse 4. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. Remember the wondrous works that He has done, His miracles and the judgments He uttered. O offspring of Abraham, his servant, children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He remembers his covenant forever, the word that he commanded for a thousand generations. As head of my company, there are many occasions that I find myself taking charge or taking over a task from my manager or my staff in order to get things done. While I don't enjoy doing that, I often find myself into that mode because I am naturally impatient and because I'm always result-oriented, that sense of impatience is heightened. This Psalm 105, the verses puts forward the reminder that we need to seek the Lord because in Him we find strength and in His presence we can determine His will for us. Amazingly in this verse, the psalm continues by declaring the promises that the Lord had fulfilled for Abraham and the, one, and the marvelous things that He had done for Jacob and his sons. This verse is telling me to put a break on my tendency of being in charge and instead to seek the Lord, to experience His strength, and to feel His presence in my life. If I don't, I might miss the results that are bigger and more beautiful than what I can expect and imagine. Let us pray. Lord, today we recommit ourselves to you. Forgive us if we allow ourselves to be overcome by our day-to-day -day concerns, by our day-to-day -day trials. Forgive us that instead of running towards you for help, we run away and take matters into our hands. Today we declare that we need you regardless of our situation or condition right now. Good or bad, we seek you above all. If you can fulfill the promises you have given in the time of Abraham and perform those marvelous acts you have done in the time of Jacob, surely you can do the same for us. For nothing compares to you, Lord. You are the same God in the past the present, and the future. This is our declaration in your mighty name. Amen.